Hi there, this is Supriya and I'm back again with another video on Selenium WebDriver series and today we'll be learning about date picker in Selenium WebDriver, uh, how to handle calendar, how to automate a calendar in WebDriver. So let's start. Now, uh, like we have different customized uh, date picker or calendar used on any UI of the application so uh, you can if you can see this uh, screenshot of the calendar you can see that this is one customized uh, date picker wherein you have the uh, day and the month and uh, the date selected and there is a drop down okay and you have to click on these arrows to select the month and the year from the drop down so this is one uh, form of uh, customized date picker another form is this uh, date picker wherein you are selecting both month and the year from the drop downs and then you're selecting the date uh, there is another kind of uh, date picker wherein you are just selecting uh, the date picker I mean you're opening the calendar and there are two tables in the customized calendar okay and you have to select the month and the year so uh, these days this is the uh, date picker which is commonly used so I'll be telling you how to automate this kind of date picker and if you understand the logic to automate this date picker uh, which you are seeing right now you can apply you know uh, but uh, there will be different logic for different date pickers so i just uh, since this is the most prevailing uh, date picker i'll just uh, let you know how to automate this date picker and then you get you will get the idea of how to apply the logic to automate the date picker so you can apply that logic uh, by modifying some script for to another date picker as well okay so let's start now uh, the website that i have selected is booking.com and uh, i have this uh, format of customized date picker so uh, i'll tell you first the steps that we will be following to uh, select the date from this so this is my web element okay and I have to select check in and check out date. So I need to first locate this web element, okay? And then I'll click this web element, say check in, and then I have to see uh, if the month and the year is getting displayed uh, as per my interest. And if not, then I'll click this arrow button here. And I'll keep clicking this arrow button till the time I get the year, a month and the year of my interest. And the moment I get the month and the year of my interest, then I'll stop here. I'll, I mean, I stop clicking this arrow button and I'll select the date from here then. So these are the steps that we need to follow. First, we need to click this check-in button. And then I have to see the month and the year if it is of my interest. And I need to clip, keep clicking this arrow button till the time I get the month and the year. And then it, once I get that, then I'll click the date. I'll select the date. And then um, if you see here, say if I'm selecting 16 July 2020, this doesn't get close, okay? Because uh, you can see the date dis is displaying over here, 16 July, but then it's still waiting for me to select checkout date. Okay, so I'll first tell you how to select a check-in date and then you can, maybe you can apply that logic for checkout date as well. It's it's same, you, you need to first understand the logic uh, for check-in date, okay. So let's start. So first I will locate this element, okay? That's the first thing. 
so let me just go to my eclipse and i'll just create one class inside this selenium class package and i'll create a class say date picker demo i'll select the main method i'll say finish okay and what i'll do i'll just copy the uh, code of launching the browser and the implicitly weights and maximizing the window getting the website open that code i'll copy from the previous uh, sessions uh, program and i'll just paste it in the date picker demo class okay and guys I have already uh, explained you uh, how to write a code for launching the browser then what is this page load, load timeout implicitly wait maximizing the window and there are many navigation methods that we have seen so you need to just uh, watch my videos uh, if you didn't understand these methods or uh, these code for launching the browser you need to watch the videos again okay and if you did understand that's well and good okay so here uh, in this driver.get URL I will uh, just copy my website uh, URL from here and I'll just paste it, it over here since I'm using booking.com this is my website okay so i'll not explain this again you need to watch the video if you didn't understand okay this video is only about date pickers so uh, i'll be speaking about date pickers or calendar only okay uh, okay so i would need to first locate this element this web element okay now uh, i'll just do a right click here okay i'm so sorry okay and i'll do inspect and this section got highlighted okay let me just spy this again and show you okay so as you can see that this section got highlighted and it's a uh, inside the span tag and i have the class uh, attribute with its value so let me just directly uh, see if we have the x path unique uh, for this web element so i just select relative x path here and here i go i do have the x path uh, designed already designed so i'll just copy this okay let me just copy this and this will be my x path for check-in web element so i'll just i have just copied this and i'll say driver dot find element and since this is the x path i'll say by dot x path okay and i'll paste the value of the x path very long and since we have we need to kick uh, click uh, the uh, check-in web element I'll say dot click okay and after we click this web element I just click this we will have to select the month and year okay first so what selenium will do selenium will check if uh, the month and the year of our interest is displaying over here and if not then it will click the right arrow button so how to do that so i'll just buy this month and year element okay and if you can see that i already have this section highlighted okay and i cannot use this x path uh, that's already there for us because it has the hard-coded uh, value of month and the year and I can select uh, any month 
uh, or the year okay so i cannot use this so i'll have to create my own xpaths or let me see if i can get the locator so i do have a class name i do have the id i can use this but the problem here is the moment you change this this id also keeps changing okay so i cannot rely on the id also here okay so um i'll just create the customized xpath and uh, let me just use this class okay and let me just uh, say now this is inside the div tag so i'll say double slash div square brackets and i'll say at the rate class class is my attribute and i'll say equals to the value of the class inside the double quotes now you see that there are two uh, index values that means if you click this arrow button currently it is at the first index value of two okay so our value our element is at first index value okay can you see this this got highlighted my my uh, element which is on the left hand side uh, of the table okay and if i select this drop down so here it the index value is two and uh, this is reflecting the second uh, tables month and the year so i'll go with the first index value and i told you how to if you get the index value uh, unique index value then you will enclose and everything inside the uh, bracket your opening and closing parenthesis and at the end you will uh, write the index value inside the square brackets okay so this is how now you can see it's it became one of one and i do have my customized xpath ready for this month and the year okay so say for example i need to uh, select uh, 15 july uh, 2020 or if i say if i want to select august 2020 okay and i want to select 15th august 2020 okay so i have this customized xpath for the month and the year for this element on the table left table okay i am only concerned with the left table okay and i want my date on the left table to be august 20, uh, 2020 okay 15th august so let me just first declare the variables okay so what i do i'll just write string check in date equals to my uh, month and the year is going to be august 2020 okay and i want my date to be say my date val is uh I want fifteenth. Okay, you can take it any date. Okay, now I have declared my check-in date, uh, month and the year as August two thousand twenty, and my date value is fifteenth. Okay, uh, let me just say check-in month to be more specific. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll create a while loop okay we already learned about while loop in java core java series so you must be knowing what is a while loop now we will uh, have a loop and inside the loop uh, we will write all the steps okay so here i'll say while true and i'll open and close my while loop okay and inside the body of this while loop i'll just say first i need to get the text of the month and the year okay here i'll just show you here okay 
on this left table i need to get the month when year uh, you know of my interest okay so and how to get that so i have the x path for this web element so i'll just say driver dot find element by dot x path okay i'll put that x path value and i'll say now i need to get that text of month and the year so i'll say get there is a method get text okay so what this will do is this will locate the uh, that web element of month and the year on the table on the left table okay and it will get that text from that web element okay so after getting the text from uh, that web element which is which will include month and the year it will save it let me just save this in inside the string uh, type variable which is string say i can give uh, any variable name month okay because this get text method is returning me string type uh, variable so i have uh, you know i'm saving this text of month and the year inside this string variable so what it will do it will just run this while loop and first line it will be uh, execute the first line it will get the text from that month and the year web element it will save inside this variable and then i'll say that the moment it finds the text of our interest so the moment it finds this value august in 2010 then i'll say i'll just instruct selenium to perform this action okay so it will execute if statement and i'll say if month dot equals okay and inside this equals method i'll put this variable check in month because it's uh, it it it's storing the uh, august 2020 value okay and the moment it this month variable becomes my uh, check in month variable uh, both are both becomes equals then it will break the loop okay so it will break the loop that means it will break the while loop altogether and if not if this month and the check-in month are not equal okay then it should keep clicking this arrow button okay so let me just uh, locate this arrow button okay so this section got highlighted and let me just see if i can get the x path for this okay oh it's already there all right i i already have the x path for this so i'll just copy this i don't have to create the x path it's already giving me the x path okay so i'll just write the uh, this is my uh, if statement and let me just write the else statement so else else what else click on that arrow back but driver dot find element by dot x path and i'll put that x path value of that next arrow button and i'll say dot click okay so see guys you need to understand this while loop first what it will do i'll just uh, align this okay this should look properly okay first what it will okay let me just go up let me just scroll up okay so first it will launch my browser okay 
and then it will open this website booking.com immediately after that my check-in uh, web element will be clicked okay let me just close this and this check-in uh, web element will be clicked okay and let me just go back so here in this code that web element check-in web element will be clicked and I'm saving I want to select August 2020 as my month and the year and 15 is the date that I want to select from check-in web element okay so I'm just uh, declaring the variable string check-in month and I'm uh, saving my value August 2020 inside this variable uh, and my date inside the uh, string variable date well okay so uh, after clicking the check-in web, web element what it will do it will run a while loop inside the while loop first line of code that will execute is it will check what month and the year is displaying on this left uh, the on this table left table okay so it will check this and if let me just go back if now after that it will it will just locate that element that a month and the year element till here okay okay just a moment guys and from here to here and this method get text method is getting the text of month and the year and since it is returning string variable i'll save this text inside the uh, string type variable month so it whatever uh, month and the year selenium will be fetching from that web element it will be saved inside the month variable and then it will uh, proceed to another line of code which says if this month dot equals check-in month so if that month say uh, if it is July 2020 saved in this variable so it will not uh, it will it is not equal to this August 2020 so it will move to else statement okay it will execute here it, and here it will click the uh, arrow button okay this button so it will again check now it will again go back to the starting of while loop okay and and then again it will uh, locate the month and the year web element and it will get the text from it it will save it inside the month variable and it will again check if month dot equals check in month and if it finds that if it is equal to August 2020 then it will break and if it still if it they are still not equal then it will again click the right arrow but here the moment if it finds a uh, month is equal to the month and the year of my interest then it will break the loop it will break this it will come out of this curly braces so from here till here is my while loop running okay so after that uh, so I have reached August 2020 so it will break the while loop now I need to select the date from this table so for that I'll again locate this web element anyone okay so I'll do inspect and now guys be careful huh? this is tricky and little complex so you need to understand now if you see here I have this uh, 14 uh, date displayed as text inside the span tag okay so I cannot create uh, the X path uh, saying double slash span and then contains uh, function uh, and display this as text as 14 
because you will have to each time write change keep on changing the dates there so i cannot do that because this is the hard coded value and if you just check the x path here if you just check the x path here it's way too long let me just copy this and paste it in the notepad and show you it's very long uh, oh, okay so it's not that long I can make some changes but I can do uh, I can reduce uh, the complexity of this X path how I'll just tell you okay so okay so i have this uh, search window open and now this band tag is below uh, this td tag td is what td represents the column okay so if you just mouse over this td section you can see that uh, it the 11 uh, date got highlighted it and if you go little up okay there is another td then it highlighted the 10th uh, date okay and then if you go a little up it highlighted the 9th date okay so these are the columns now this tr above td is row okay so can you see that the the entire of uh, one two three third row got highlighted so this tr is row td is column and uh, let me just go above that all this is under t body can you see it? when i mouse over t body the entire table got highlighted so uh, i'll just uh, do such a thing that it it capture all the values all the dates from this particular table i'll create the x path in such a way that my x path you know captures all the values from this table only from the left table okay so for that if you see uh, my table starts from t body even it starts from little above but i don't need that uh, sunday monday row so i'll start from here okay so what i'll do i'll just say t body tr td span this is my flow t body body double slash tr double slash td span now you have you have 61 uh, index values that means you have 61 elements uh, which is which are satisfying these this x path okay but i want the unique one okay so what I just want the uh, all the dates from this table okay so I'll just click uh, these uh, index values can you see it is selecting all the dates okay and I reached 31st and then when I clicked uh, the second time another time it I reached 32nd uh, index value and it selected uh, the 1st of September okay and then 3rd then 4th then 5th so it all together like this we have 61 uh, what do you say uh, elements okay but I want only this left table this is also including the right table so how to do that so let me just do one thing uh, what if I do make this t body as the first attribute i mean for it, it t body i need the first table okay so i'll do t body and i'll include first attribute so see now it got redu reduced from 61 to 31 okay so now here if i just click keep on clicking can you see it is selecting let me just check if it is selecting till 31st of this left table yes see 
it's not going to the right table that means here it's not going here it's only selecting this and I that's all I want so I'll just copy this X path see guys uh, I've already uh, taken a session on creating the customized X path and there are two videos on creating the customized X path part one and part two there uh, in those videos I have told you how to create the customized X path and I have given you many ways okay so this is the way that I have chosen here is the parent child uh, method okay and uh, this is little tricky but once you get hold on this creating X path it will be easy for you okay so see uh, I just reduced this long text path X path okay that uh, was available for me to this small one okay but still I have to do a lot of work because this X path is not my final X path what this X path will do it will just capture all these dates I want the unique one which is 15th okay so how to do that so I'll just go here on my eclipse and I'll say driver dot find elements now here you will not select find element here you will select find elements okay because this this is now the collection of elements so you will select this and you will say by dot x path okay and you will en enter the x path value here and okay now you, what you will do you will now first let me tell you that this find element method is returning me the list of web elements okay so which are which will be the list of web elements it will be these dates okay can you see this these dates these are web elements again okay so this find elements x path will be returning me the list of web elements see can you see this and this is returning me the list interface of web element type okay so i'll just create one uh, declare one variable which is of list interface and web element type okay web element okay and let's say this is le equals to now here i'll import this from java.util package this is the interface so list i will import from uh, java.util package and web element i will import from org.openqa.selenium okay so both of the packages got imported and uh, this method find elements will be capturing all the dates all the elements and will be saving inside this uh, variable which is of list type or list is the interface and web element it is web element right so it will be saved in in the form of arrays okay so we have seen what are arrays in J core java sessions okay so it will be uh, the web elements will be saved in le variable now we want to click this particular element which is 15 this date so how to do that now what i'll do i'll just run another loop which is a for loop okay this is the advanced for loop okay we have already learned what is the advanced for loop in core java sessions here I'll say web element. Uh, I'll give any name, say uh, element. Let me just give element only and le. So what it this will be doing? The value, all the elements, all the dates that will be stored inside this uh, variable 
okay in this list variable okay will be will be transferred to this element variable of web element type and why do we need to use this for loop because i want to get the text of each of these elements okay now uh, not each of these element but at least till the time i get my date which is 15 okay so it will start from here it will get the text of this web element and uh, it will then again run a loop and it will get the text of this 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 then it will reach here and then i'll write another statement i'll put another if statement so but before that let me just get the text of the the element okay so i'll say element dot get text okay so here in from this code i'll be getting the text of each element okay from this uh, web variable of web element type okay so first loop will be run and the first element will be picked up and it will get the text of that that means this value can you see this this date let me just buy this date so this text will be captured from the uh, from that L web element okay so let me just save this in inside the string type variable because it's returning string type variable so i'll just save this inside say uh, date equals okay and uh, so this is the variable where it, it will be, the, the text will be saved, the date will be saved, okay? And if the moment if, uh, so I'll write the if statement here and that will say, uh, if date dot equals dot equals equals what equals 15 so 15 i have already stored here on the top uh, where is my 15 it's here okay so the moment it finds my date dot equals date val okay the moment it finds my date value as 15 it will click that date element so i'll say element dot click okay so i'll say element dot click and after that i found my element so it should break the loop so i'll say break otherwise it, it the loop will go on and on okay if you don't put break so i'll just explain you once again uh, in this for loop what will happen is uh, i'll just uh, explain you from the beginning okay here i'm launching my browser okay there is the implicit weight okay and i have some uh, important uh, code like maximizing the window then delete all cookies okay then here I'm opening my website booking.com here uh, I'm locating the web element this which is this web element okay this one check-in and it's clicking on this after it's clicking on this uh, I have already mentioned uh, given my month and the year as August 2020 so this is the month and year I want to go with and this is my date 15 so I'm saving it inside the string variables and I'm starting my while loop here. Okay, what this while loop will do, uh, it will first check if uh, the month and the year is of my interest. Okay, it will, uh, here it will locate that month and the year element 
and it will get the text of that month and year and it will save inside the string variable month okay and I have written one if statement here in which I'm saying if month the this text value is equal to the check-in month which is my month which is August 2020 then break the loop so it will break the loop but the while loop okay and if it doesn't find that then it will click on that right button so I have given else statement here which is uh, clicking the right button okay so if you see this it will first check the month if it is not of my interest then it will click the right button then again it will go to the while loop and it will check the month then again it will click the if it doesn't find the my month and the year then it will click the right button and it this uh, will happen till I find the month and the year which is August 2020 the moment it finds August 2020 it will break the loop now after breaking the loop I want to click the date so what I am doing from this uh, uh, left table of the states, I am just collecting all the dates or all the elements of the dates in one uh, variable. Okay, for that I have created the, this X path. So this X path, what it will do, it will fetch all the uh, elements of dates. Okay. So for that I have used this find elements method to fetch the collection of elements. Okay. So and it is saving all the elements in this list interface, uh, the variable of this list interface, which is of web element type. Okay. If you mouse over your find elements, you can see that this method find elements is returning list interface of web element type. Okay. And then in this LE variable, I have the list of all the dates. Now I want to, uh, I just go back here. I have my dates from 1 to 31st in that LE variable. Okay. But I only want 15. So what I have done, I have written a for loop there, which will run a loop and fetch all the text of this these elements okay the text of these elements so the text of these elements will include this okay this text the dates okay so it will like my for loop will start and it will get the text of that each element and I mean the first element and it will save it in the string variable and I have given the if statement here which says if my date if this date if this text is equal to the value that I have given which is 15 then click that element or else it will go to another loop then it will uh, uh, you know run the second loop and get the text of second web element and save it and then again it will check if that date is e equal uh, to the uh, to 15 if it's it's not then the loop will go on on and on okay the moment it finds that date 15 it will click that element okay and it will break the loop this for loop okay so see here the moment it finds 15 it will click that so let me just run this and check if this is working okay so my date here it should be 15th August 2020 so let me just first uh, check if uh, any error is there and run this okay so I'll do a right click and run this So it launched my browser, it opened my website which is booking.com, it's still opening okay. 
then it should click the check-in uh, element web element it got clicked again okay? then it my 15th August 2020 should be selected okay it's not selecting there is some problem okay let me just check okay so I got the error here saying it cannot locate the element using XPath BUI oh okay I gave the wrong XPath here can you see this so guys uh, re understanding the exception is equally important so my XPath is wrong for this uh, uh, this web element I'll just show you so I'll just locate this again let, let me just spy this and uh, just a moment guys Okay, I want this month and the year on this left table okay so here this is the section that got highlighted and this has my class as BUI calendar underscore month so I have written it inside that I have created the X path and it's there inside the div tag so I have double slash div at the rate class equals to its value but see here it's giving me two uh, index values that means there are two web elements I think the other one is this okay but we only want this one okay so it's now this element is at first index value okay so I'll just enclose everything inside the uh, opening and closing parenthesis and at the end I'll put square brackets I'll put the index value as 1 so here we go now only this uh, month and the year got selected I'm not concerned with this okay so I'll just copy this X path and I'll correct uh, you know put the correct check if this time I have not made any mistake I have the double codes placed at the correct places yes here we go so now it should run okay so I should have 15th August 2020 getting selected okay so let, okay, so, so let me just run this and see if selecting 15th August 2020 so it launched my browser it opened my website and 15th August should be selected see so I have my check-in value as 15th August 2020 can you see this and it's working now so this checkout value is not selected because I have to write the logic for that and it's the same logic so guys this is homework for you I'll just give you a hint how to do, do that you have to give one checkout uh, value you have to declare the checkout month and the date as I have declared for the check-in month and the date okay okay just uh, you know over here itself it will be fine okay and you have you need to store it in the string variable and then you have to just you know apply the same logic and you will you will uh, be selecting checkout value then so I, I just gave you the hint and uh, you need to uh, execute that code you need that's a homework for you so guys uh, this was all about uh, handling the calendar and as I said that this is one of the customized calendar that we just learned. Okay, this, this, these kind of customized calendar, but we have different customized calendar like this, like this, okay, there's a drop down and you have to select the month and the year from the drop down. So, you know, uh, the logic that you use to write the automated script will differ from 
the uh, date picker to date picker okay so but this is the prevailing uh, date picker that uh, many U, uh, ui developers are using uh, in the applications so and this is the the complex one the rest of them are easy so if you understood the logic for the these you can uh, write automated script for any other date picker okay so with this i'll end the session here and see you in the next video till then goodbye take care of yourself